Hello everyone, we will continue the topic debugging and in this video, I will guide you how you can skip the authority check with the help of debugging. Before I will go for explanation of this particular topic, first most important point. Now, never, never try this in quality and production system. Because what happened? Sometimes we go, we take the debugging rights from the customer in quality and production system based upon the priority of the issue. At that time, if you do not have the authorization, always, always ask the basis person. Always take the help of basis person. Never use debugging to skip the authorization. Why I am covering this particular topic? Because sometimes what happened, you are analyzing some issue in the development system, but at that time you do not have the authorization. Suppose basis person is not available at that point of time. So rather than waiting for the basis person, a back person can skip the authorization with the help of debugging and they can proceed with their normal work. So at that time, it saves your time. But please, please do not take this particular thing for granted. Never, never unnecessary use to skip the authorization check. If basis person is available, always connect with the basis person. But yes, sometimes if the basis person is not available or it is taking too much time to take the follow up, then you can analyze the issue in the quicker manner by skipping the authorization check, which is stopping you to go further in that particular transaction code. Suppose I will go for a requirement. Suppose I am saying, suppose I will go for, suppose I am saying BA02 transaction. You all know with the help of BA02, we change a sales order. Suppose I am putting some order number. Suppose I am going for 117. It is saying you do not have the authorization for this particular thing. Okay. Now what we will do, we'll connect with the basis person. Okay. I'm not able to change the sales order, but to analyze this issue, I want to change the sales order so that I can come on to root cause of the issue. Then at that time, suppose if basis person is not available, and you want to change this particular sales order, especially I'm talking about development system development. I'm not talking about quality and production. Suppose you are analyzing something in the development system, but you do not have the authorization of the same. If basis person is available, take the help from them. If they are not available or it is taking too much time, then you can skip this particular part with the help of people. Simple. Just go for debugging mode slash H. You all know debugging the transaction code is slash H. I'm doing enter. Now I will put a breakpoint on the statement. Breakpoint, breakpoint at statement. Now Whenever we have the authorization, suppose if we do not have the authorization, so we have a keyword always. That keyword is authority check. Authority hyphen check. Just go for OK. So system will automatically stop you on all the authority check, all the authorization check, which is stopping you for this particular changing of the sales order. Suppose now I will do F8. Now you can see we have the first authority check. Go to desktop 3. Now whenever it will stop, just do F6. And check the value of size sub RC. Now you can see size sub RC is other than 0. Other than 0 means not successful. It means I do not have the authorization. So make it 0. Just see how I am doing. In the debugging mode itself, I am just saying that yes, I have the authorization. I'm, I, I, because size of RC0 means what? Successful. I am doing F8. We might have multiple authority check, multiple authorization check. So now suppose we have another authority check. 
am doing f6. Have you seen psi sub r c is other than zero? I will make it psi sub r c is other than zero. I will make it zero. It means I have the authorization of this also. Now. I'm doing F8. Now it stopped here. I'm doing F6. Have you seen it? SAP has written the logic. If psi sub R C not equal to zero, I'm getting the message. SAP is giving the error message. In the debugging mode, I'm setting it to zero. If I will set it to zero, it means this error message logic will not trigger. So it means I have the authorization. I will do F8. I will do F6. Now psi sub R C again, I will make it zero. I will do F8. I will do F6. Now it is again other than zero. I will make it zero. Now I will do F8. I'm doing F6. Now I will make it zero because we have multiple authority check. I'm doing F8. Now you can see the sales order opened in the change mode. So this is the way how you can make your work easier. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I explained how, how you can skip the authorization check with the help of debugging. Suppose if you do not have the authorization at that time, yes, the best possible way is check with basis person that I want the authorization because to analyze this issue, I want this particular authorization. Suppose sometimes what happened, basis person is busy or basis person is not available or suppose they are working in different time zone. So at that time, you have the flexibility that you can skip the authorization check so that there is no dependency. You can simply skip and you can continue with your work. So, so especially a BAP consultants use this particular feature that their time will not based on all these kinds of things. But never, never do this in quality and production system. Suppose you are analyzing some issue in quality and production. Customer gave you authorization of the debugging. But at that time, if you do not have the authorization of changing of sales order or suppose some other thing, then never do anything, whatever I explained. At that time, you need to compulsory take everything from the basis person. This is what I'm explaining that you can try this thing in the debugging, in the development system so that there is no dependency of you on the basis person you can use this particular flexibility. So that's it in this particular video. You need to put the breakpoint on the particular keyword statement authority check. You can simply execute, make the size of RC zero, change, simply change it to zero. It means you have the authorization of the same. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.